Begin DVR session. Hi Fred, this is Danny, lesson four video assignment review. So let's have a listen mate. Um, we'll go through this step by step as we go along. Nice dramatic start to the track there. Just have a look at stuff on your master for the moment. Still not 100% on that snare, you know. Let's have a look at that again. Hmm, where's this going to? Bus 10, is that your general drums group? Yeah. You try and make it a little bit more central. Let's have a look at the sample delay settings. You know what I'm thinking in this case? I think the sample delay may not be the best one for using for width if we use the spreader. Let's come down to that. Let's try that. Let's see how this works. A little bit too obvious, isn't it? The sound of that. I'm looking to try and get a bit more of the punch back, you see. I think the sample delay was somehow taking that away. And if you wanted to add a little bit of that kind of delay width on there, um, it might be good to do a send on here. So if we do this to 17, and then on here, let's add a delay. Let's go for stereo delay. This is not what I'm intending to do, by the way, at the moment, how this is. Okay, let me take the beat sync off. That's more like it. Let's take this about half of that. Let's do maybe about 60 and 120. What do you think about that? So it gets some fatness on there, the snare, but then gives a little bit of width as well and a delay. Let's take the spreader off for a moment. Yeah, I'd be inclined to say without the spreader as well, because we've got the width being added by the send and return in the mixer. Interesting how you're bringing the MIC up here slowly. So it seems to be that you're adding this as some kind of overall effect gradually. Um, where's your beats? Going to bus 12, bus 12 is over here. I mean, I would usually say that the, the NYC should be on there all the time, um, but this is quite an interesting approach. So you're kind of increasing the energy as we go. I'm gonna keep rolling with that, see how it sounds. Love in the atmospherics on this. Okay, this is the one that's sounding a little bit harsh. Gonna take away some of the real highs on there and then try and find this. It's gonna dip down a bit there. It's feeling a little bit aggressive. Very nice track, mate. It's heavy, mate. 
Let's have a look at this space. Great work there, mate. I mean, I'm liking this breakdown a lot. That was getting a bit bright there, so I rolled down a little bit on the highs. Right, this is sounding really good. What I'm going to do is I'll stick it on the speakers, um, and uh, then I'll get back to you on the other side, yeah? Hi, Frats, I'm back again. Um, do you know what? I had to spend quite a bit of time on that, actually. Um, I'll tell you why. It's because of the kick and the bass. Now, what I was finding was that no matter what I did on the speakers, it was always sounding muddy. So, um, you know, I worked on a whole bunch of stuff. I worked on things like side chaining, um, you know, the, uh, the, the bass um, with the kick. So ducking the bass line down, you know, whenever the kick hit. Um, I ended up keeping a bit of that, but I tried various different amounts of that. I also tried some quite drastic EQing, uh, still wasn't working. So what I did was I ended up creating a bass patch on the ES2, which I feel is cutting through the mix better, still trying to keep the same vibe that you had originally, because I really liked that. So what I also did was try to balance stuff out and get a bit of the energy across, because it still sounded muddy overall. Um, so have a see, see what you think. I'm gonna play from about here. Yeah, because your kick's really, really heavy, but I really like the heaviness on there. I think that's working really well. Um, so just trying to get a compromise, get everything all kind of working together. Personally, I feel um, things like the hats, um, I would have bust those together um, so that you've got just the hats. You've done everything to the beats, but I would say because you've got so many of them, I would have bust them through to their own um, you know, auxiliary channel strip. So you could have dealt with them on their own because you've got so many, I think it's a little bit messy in places. And because there's so many, it's hard for me to kind of gather exactly what's doing what and what its role is. So um, I would suggest when you've got a lot of hats, definitely stick them through to um, their own bus. Um, but overall, this is another wicked track. Seriously, I'm really impressed with you guys, um, honestly. But Frats, I heard your stuff before and it's been great anyway. So really, really good work. And um, you know, it's a, it's a really, really, another really great piece of music. So what I'll do is I'll send you the updated Logic file, see how it sounds your side. And, um, you know, I just got to say um, all the best and, um, you know, glad you enjoyed the course. Okay, mate, stay in touch. I'll speak to you soon. <laughs> 